I just want to say hello and wish everybody great times as best possible through this pandemic and to stay peaceful as best possible and loving as best possible and take care of your family as best possible. Take care of yourself as best possible. For me, during this time, I've actually enjoyed some time to have for just the family. I have three children, Kelly, Kayla, and Michael. Kelly is six and a half, Kayla's five and a half, and Michael's one and a half. So taking care of them with my wife, Katie, has been a big chore. And so to have a little downtime where I can grow with them has been important. So that's what I've been doing. My studio and my home are not so far apart, like a few miles. So I can come over to the studio kind of quietly when no one's here and go back home, take care of the kids. And I've actually enjoyed this time. I've been very creative. I've been writing a lot of music, uh, new dance music for myself, a new song for Shani Wilson I'm working on, uh, new ideas for everybody. And just wanting to stay in touch with God. I pray to God a lot. I, I think and I feel like God's in charge. So I ask God, are, are we doing the right things? And God just says, says stay, stay peaceful. You know, stay still and let whatever is gonna go pass, pass by. And now I'm noticing, today on my way over here, the car wash was open. So I went and got my car washed. Now that's a new thing. Just even get your car washed is a new, like a new thing. So my car is clean now. I got a really fast car. It's a red sports car, Mercedes. And it goes really fast when I want to. So it's nice when it's clean. So now it's clean, I got a clean machine. And I wanna say I wish everybody uh, a good life. I really care about the mom and pop stores and the small people, the people that we don't think about so much. Uh, that's who I am. I come from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And in Michigan, there's a lot of poverty, I know that. I was raised kind of in poverty and not much, very, very much money rolling around. My grandpa, when I was 10 years old, I'm like 62, took a $100 bill to buy me my first drum set. That was a very big deal at that time. A hundred dollars is a lot of money. I think, and a hundred dollars now in, in 2020 is a lot of money. So <laughs> go figure. We're still trying to keep, you know, on top of our situations financially. We can take care of ourselves and make everything stretch. So that means you got to breathe deep. We got to breathe deep. And we got to say, I love myself. And inside myself is God. My spirit is God. That's the eternal part of me that won't die. Uh, Fire can't burn it. The wind can't, can't blow it. You can't, can't die. That's the part that's gonna live forever. So we gotta be in touch with our own spirit. And I often talk to people who are in heaven. I talk to Whitney a lot. I talk to Aretha a lot. I talk to Clarence Clemens a lot. My brother Ron a lot. Uh, my grandparents, Grandma Nelly, uh, Grandpa Alex, Grandpa Val, who bought my first drum set, Grandma Edie, his wife, uh, Big Ed, Edgar. Edgar Hackley was tough, was strong. They all give me a lot of inspiration. And, they, and then from the other side, they're working hard to bring me the good people now. And I know it's happening for you too. From heaven and God and all the angels and all your grandparents who are passed on are doing their very best to make sure that we're, we're at peace now, at best possible. So I make a prayer for all of us for peace of mind. And that we're going to be okay. This is only like the beginning of May and it's springtime. And everything's shooting up out of the ground. The flowers are coming on strong. And the smell, the fresh air is coming on strong. And just take a minute to kind of step back and appreciate being alive. If your eyes opened up this morning, then you can be grateful that your eyes opened up this morning. And take a deep breath. Hey, what's your favorite song? Maybe play your favorite song. If you play music, play your instrument. You know, get in touch with your music because music is right next to God. If God talks in silence, in meditation and prayer, right next to meditation and prayer and silence is music. So always like be in touch with music, all kinds of music that you love. And I feel like we can be inspired 24 hours a day. Inspiration's here for us 24 hours a day. And my guru taught me, you can reach your hand up spiritually speaking and grab the bird of inspiration and bring it down because they're always flying, those birds are always flying, you can bring them down anytime and be inspired. You needn't suffer writer's block. 
You can be inspired anytime you want. I will say this. It's kind of cool when you can keep uh, being in touch with your with a child in your heart. So you can still get excited about things because the excitement in your, in your heart can, can get the juices going to, to get that bird of inspiration and be in, to be happy to have the bird of inspiration. Oh, I have the bird of inspiration. I can write a song. Oh, I have the bird of inspiration. I can talk to somebody I love and tell them I love them. My heart can be open. I can share with somebody how much I really care about them or how much I really miss them or how something that they, that they said to me really touched me. Like my friend Frankie, she used to say to me, well, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna work hard, cause I was always working hard, then you gotta learn how to play hard. I said, oh, okay. So the balance of life is really important. Work hard, play hard. So you have things like that in your life. People have said nice things to you. They've encouraged you along the way. Maybe now you can write them a little letter or a phone call and say thank you for that word of encouragement. Now is a good time for all those type of sentimental, romantic feelings of, I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy I made it this far. And we want to go further because there's no place like being uh, on the earth. It's a wonderful place to be. And I saw this great show, uh, Disney puts out, on the elephants and how smart they are and how they can go from one part of the, of the desert and travel seven days out to a watering hole. Now, when they get there, they're really thirsty and the water hole could be dried up. Then they gotta like travel another seven days to another water hole. Watch this show called Elephants and how deep these elephants are in their memories to remember seven days out how to get to where they're trying to get to. Finally, they make it to some, some water. But the babies are really thirsty, but they do it. So the animal kingdom is incredible. And we are incredible too as human beings because as human beings, we have divinity inside of us and we are in touch with the, the, the divine inside of us. So you can say we're in touch with the divine, the human, and the animal. The animal wants what it wants. The human in us is conditional. It says, I will love you if you love me. I will give to you if you give to me. I will do for you if you do for me. The divine says, I love you unconditionally. I love you unconditionally. Even if you don't love me, I still love you unconditionally. That's a lot of love. That's love that a mother has for the baby. That's the mother love. That's the mother. That's the love that your mother's have for you, and your father's have for you, and your grandparents have for you. Now it's our turn. To turn on that love for our babies and for the, for the people that we love, because that's the high love, unconditional love. If you don't give me anything, I'm cool with that. I just want to love you because it's a natural thing to love you.